Alright, what's up everyone? 3.25 patch has changed a lot where melee stands in the game. And I'm gonna try to go briefly over what what, what has changed and like where we're at, like what is the end result after all this, all these changes. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna say is that uh, contrary to whether most people think, this is not a buff in the, like for everything, obviously. Uh, a lot of things have been nerfed, but a lot of things have been buffed too. So I'm gonna go over why that is, and wh who are the winners, who are the losers. So first of all, the losers are gonna be all the skills that actually relied on totems to scale their damage. Like anything that used scaled attack speed, and uh, wanted to use Warchief and Protector and Panopticon to scale the damage, basically all lost damage. Like a significant amount depending on the gem. Because now we have no more totems. Which means we're losing 30% more attack speed and we're losing 30% more damage. Well, maybe a bit less, but you get the idea. I'll show you an example from now. last patch. So, this is my Bunchai character from this patch, uh, Necropolis. And this is the damage with the Totem. Totem with Wardship and Protector down and Totem nodes. With Val Wardship, this is the damage. Right now, if I remove all Totems, which is going to be what we're going to have last patch, we have lost. 55% more damage. Like we, we used to do 55% more damage with the totems. And then with the war chief, it's like almost half damage that we lose that we lose. So that is a big loss. Now they can compensate on the gems uh, for a lot of them. I'll take Buncha as an example, uh, since we're talking about that. Uh, to showcase the thing. Bunch pretty much got 35% more damage on the gem. From damage effectiveness. Now the problem is yeah, we lose we lost the totems and the thing for Boon Shadow and Trauma in particular is that we lost a lot of attack speed. Protector is gone and the Rage rework basically makes it so that Rage does not give us any attack speed anymore. All it gives is 1% more attack damage per Rage gained, maximum of 30. Which means we've lost a bunch of attack speed from here. And we've lost the attack speed from the Protector which means we're gonna reach way lower Trauma, st trauma stacks, which means a lot more less damage. On top of also it being a lot more clunky and not as not as smooth to play. Trauma support itself also for all the skills that use trauma support to scale their damage. For example, dual strike and dexterity. If you're not strength stacking is, a, is an example. Uh, strength stacking itself also got hit because battle mage cry now does not allow to scale uh, to melee damage. Sorry. So that this now you have to use crown of ice to get the mod that used to be on battle mage cry, which makes you lose your helmet stud, which was a helmet stud that gave a lot a lot of power. Uh, when you're playing a strength stacking character. Yeah, so the trauma support nerf means that like, pretty much every skill that you wanted to scale attack speed and scale trauma because that was the best way to scale a lot of them. Like a lot of builds would just use trauma support if you didn't have already trauma which was Bone Shadow. And uh, that is now you know, significantly nerfed. I have an example I think my my dual strike uh, slayer from PUB that I had uh, with trauma support lost roughly like 33 percent damage something like that so a third of his damage is gone so these are all very significant nerfs to anything that scaled attack speed and that's gonna apply not just to boon shadow but it's gonna apply to pretty much anything that wanted to use double totems so for example i don't know people were talking about sweep as an example the sweep gem got buffed right by a lot but that doesn't really matter that skill did not really do any damage and uh, with totems included, so like the, the gain here is not as significant as people might think. There is still gonna be ways to play with sweep, I think, that are more related to the big winners of the patch, which are again anything that did not use ancestral totems to scale the damage. And that the, fir the first one that comes to mind is slams. Now, slams are the big winners this patch because, for example, you'll see that uh, every single gem gained a lot of damage, like, for example, Earth Shadow is like almost double damage. Pretty much every slam, slam is in the same boat, uh, gained a lot of damage and lost almost nothing. Like we, we lost a central warship which was 18% more damage, but we didn't really click Panopticon, Totem Nodes, so they would, they would just die in real encounters. And when once you, when you clear them up, you're not really dropping your warship unless you're like, encountering a rare or something. And even then, it, 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 was, it was not a big deal. So on, on top of it, we also gained overexertion support, which is, well, for, from what we've seen, we've seen the level 1 gem gives 20% more damage per exert, affecting the attack. And another 10% more damage, which is probably the quality. Depending on how it scales, it could get extremely, extremely strong. Now, the good news is that it's not only applicable to slams, any melee skill can get exerted. It doesn't have to be a slam. We can do that with 
pretty much any skill. If you go back into the skill gem changes, any of these gems that you might want to use will be able to utilize this as long as they get a submitted attack, right? The only war cry that is not going to work with anything that's not a slam will be Seismic Cry. You can still overexert with pretty much every other war cry, which is Riding Cry, Infernal Cry, um, Ancestral Cry for Strikes, Intimidating Cry. Anyway, you get the idea. There's, uh, you can exert probably like five, six, five, six of them. So, for example, Sweep, since we were talking about it, you could potentially play it uh, like that. You could just play Sweep and play with a bunch of war cries. Automate them, which is now possible with the new call to arms. The thing is, like this works. This actually works kind of fine with the game currently because yes, it reserves mana. But if you want to exert your attacks with as many war cries as possible, you do not have sockets to have more auras anyway. So it reserves mana. Yes, it will still, I think, you know, make it so that you are gonna have to deal with mana, and that that is a kind of a problem that you have to solve, especially with all the costs being a lot higher, which. Uh, is one of the problems also with the uh, mid dispatch. Mana problems have gotten even bigger than before. But you know, if you can uh, ha if you can handle it, you can always uh, auto exert just two, three, depending on uh, where you are, where, where your character is at, and uh, what you have access to, what, what's your gear, how how high level you are, etc. But in general, every single gem here, like I know that there's a lot of gems you could see, like uh, or sweep. Sweep is the, big, the best example, I think, that kind of misdirects people and into thinking that yeah, it's a good skill. It is still not a good skill. It did no damage, and that will not make any difference since we lost the totem. If the totem is still there, for example, because it is still, again, the attack speed nerf pretty much on everything is uh, pretty impactful for anything like that, any skill like that. Yeah, so the, 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 I think the best way is probably going to be to play these skills with exerts. One problem also, this attack speed loss, is that most of, most if not all melee skills have a gigantic attack speed penalty on them. For example, sweep, one of the reasons also it's pretty bad is because it has 70% base. It is not a slam. So like I think that's something that would make made more sense for, for Slamf because you want to have a slow attack that, that hits hard, that's high effectiveness, and you just exert it, etc. A lot of these skills that just are not even necessarily meant to be played like that have huge attack speed penalty on them. And now that not only and they didn't already didn't feel that good with even when we had rage, when we had ancestral protector and all that stuff. So like now that all that is gone, these skills will pretty much be unplayable for, because of the damage values they have. Now, the only way you'll be able to play this melee skill for it to feel good will be to exert them and uh, not, not necessarily scale attack speed and just hit hard. And have like massive multipliers because of uh, overexertion support, uh, all the war cries, uh, echoes of creation, aid game from Ubu Shaper. And that will be the main way to scale melee. And anything that wants to scale attack speed and cannot really exert because, for example, trauma, uh, you just want to attack fast, but you don't really have the option of attacking fast uh, anymore, unless you're Berserker. Berserker is the only ascendancy right now that will have any sort of attack speed that would that's gonna be the only option really and there are also other skills that for some reason uh outside of uh, slams gained a lot and it's poison uh, poison skills for example like if you look at viper struck of member for example gained got a lot of damage from this patch and that was not a skill that was necessarily using totems that is just free damage on a poison a poison skill that already was pretty good and you can do some Crazy, crazy things with this right now. I'm not gonna go too much into it. Another big example of the big winners of this patch is obviously Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike just got double damage buff for <laughs> absolutely no reason. Uh, you got double damage on Lightning Strike, and it is again a skill that did not use any totems. So, and that was already pretty, pretty decent. Like it was playable. It was, uh, it was not bad. And now it has double damage. Now, you, so some will say, well, yeah, people use Ancestral Protector, but Ancestral Protector on a build like Lightning Strike is just PUB pad that did not really do anything. You would place down, you, you would not place down your totems when you're clearing maps, for example, and if you're fighting a boss or any, any, any hard encounter, for example, that would require you to, you know, you would place down your totem and you want more, the power, your totem would just die anyway. So this was just, and will not, without the linger, that, that, that you would have to keep replacing them. In, at the end of the day, you probably just lost damage trying to keep up your totems, uh, playing something like Lightning Strike that did not invest in, in, into totems at all, and just had a uh, casual protector. So Lightning Strike lost nothing this patch, gained double damage. With no surprise, you will see a ton of people starting this. It is probably going to be one of the strongest melee skills along with things like Molten Strike that, all, that is also in the same boat, and a melee attack that just has projectiles, so he gets all the projectile scaling, and uh, does not, did not lose anything from all the, the from the totem loss uh, that all that melee skills that actually wanted, put like boom shatter or uh, dual strike, etc. Actually wanted another problem again, as I talked about, is the mana. Every single skill, I think, well, most of them 
got a huge mana increase in cost. For example, look at uh, let's look at slams. Let's look at ground slams. Should one of the better slams this, this patch. You still have eight mana cost, and now it's fourteen. So when you're on a six link, your ground slam will cost sixty mana. Sixty mana, and then you probably, if you wanna make it more uh, comfortable, you wanna auto exert your war cries if you don't wanna press all of them, because otherwise you're basically pressing. Like 10 buttons almost. So for most people, it's not gonna be very comfortable. If you press the buttons, you'll be rewarded. But yeah, the play style thing for a lot is gonna be too much. And that's only for Grand Sun. But obviously, for stuff like for something like Earth Shadows, even got, uh, even worse. The mana is absurdly hard to deal with. It is that bad that we are considering using Blood Magic, which is a keystone right now. That it, and it is it is still bad. It's just that the mana problems are so extreme that it is something that we will consider doing now. Because the mana is absurd. You really don't want to have to click nodes like this, for example. Like, they're here, but they don't really do enough. They don't solve mana instantly by themselves. Clicking one already feels bad. You might even want to click a second one, and it's not even going to solve everything. You still need the Arians. You still need to life tap stuff. It is kind of a nightmare to solve. So, Blood Magic is just a way, a way of saying, I don't want to deal with this. I'm just going to click Blood Magic, not deal with mana. And uh, you lose the ability doing that, you lose the ability to automate the Warcries because they reserve too much mana and you will not be able to just put them on your life. You'll have to do Pitch Fight Blood probably, which is utilized not a socket and it's a different setup that technically makes you lose the HP. I am considering playing uh, Blood Magic Dispatch, I still haven't decided. It depends if I want to automate or just press my buttons, but yeah, pressing 6-7 buttons uh, all the time might, might, might be uh, a problem. Yeah, overall, uh, I think the big winner to re recapitulate uh, to like summarize anything that scaled attack speed uh, got, got nerfed. Anything that wants to use double totems got nerfed. Well, mostly anything that wants to scale attack speed and used to, and needed uh, two totems to do that uh, got nerfed significantly. Anything that did not use totems got buffed a lot, and especially slams that got a uh, really really good support in overexertion. Depending on the level 20 gems, we'll have to see. Are uh, the biggest winner in my mind this patch. Uh, anything castle related, we're not talking about it obviously, so I don't really care about this. We're just here to talk about melee, and that is my that is my take on it for this patch. So attack speed dispatch uh, a lot more a lot a lot harder to acquire. Therefore, any skills that rely on this are a big disadvantage. Slams, anything I can exert, very good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much where melee stands. Mana problems even bigger than before. Now I have to uh, be desperate and click about magic to fix that. At the cost of uh, quality of life. But yeah, that's about it for uh, for this. We'll see how this shape up. I am pretty certain I'm gonna start with the slammer. I'm probably gonna play ground slam over shaking and bossing, and I'm gonna boss on earth shatter, which is gonna be probably pretty strong depending on like uh, over exertion gem. Hopefully it scales uh, properly, and uh, uh, I would not recommend playing things like bone shadow anymore. For Star is gonna feel very bad. That one of the main things, main reason, one of the reasons it felt good is because you had a lot of attack speed and you had good clear. You could leap around. Which is uh, gonna be a problem this league with uh, how little attacks people will be getting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. If you have anything to any questions or anything, just come 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 by and uh, and ask. See you guys in the next one.